You make that crown all by yourself? Mm-hmm. I made it for you. Really? Well, let me see that then. All right. <laughs> Am I looking pretty good? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think I look very handsome. Hello, Kevin. It's you, Monica. You remember me? Yeah. Hey, this is Nathan. My goodness. You're all grown up since the last time I saw you. Who are you? Nathan, do you remember me telling you about the day I knew I wanted to be your daddy? Mm-hmm. When the angels came. That's right. Monica is one of the angels. Really? Mm-hmm. Really. What are you doing here? Did I do something wrong? Or... No, but I was told that you might need my help. Not that I know of. But, uh, maybe you're here to help us celebrate. Celebrate what? Well, I've been Nathan's guardian for the past seven years, and in about a half an hour, I officially become this young man's father. Oh, Kevin, that's wonderful. Do you remember that place I sang at with Tess and the Angel of Music? We're going to have a big party there tonight, and I think you ought to come down there and help us celebrate. Kevin, I know this may sound strange, but I don't think that I'm here to help you. I think that I'm here to ask you to help Tess. What does she need? She has Alzheimer's disease. You're kidding, right? No, oh, it's a mystery to all of us. I, I don't know what I could do to help, but after I sign these adoption papers, I'm all yours, okay? Okay. I see here that the adoption agency has approved everything. So I see no reason to drag this out. Kevin, I knew your father, and I know you. And you have proved yourself to be a loving and able father to Nathan. It isn't easy to be a single dad these days, but uh, you are... Take the boy into my chambers. Uh, why? What, what's happening? Nathan, wanna come no, with No, 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 wait. Can you please just wait a second? What, uh... It's all right, Kevin. I'll take care of it. Dad! It's okay. Nathan, it's okay. Kevin, the uh, adoption is being contested. Contested? By who? A woman who claims to be Nathan's mother. Uh, she's in the hall. Your Honor, we're prepared to file a petition for custody of the child. You can't do that. Not. We have a birth certificate to offer as preliminary evidence. Kevin, I'm going to have to postpone the adoption process until I can make a decision about the validity of this claim. No. I, I, I'm sorry. It's no reflection on you. And I am ordering DNA tests for Nathan and Miss uh, Kellerman. No. I mean, who cares about DNA? She, she dumped him. She left him in, in a box on the street, and I found him. Me. I mean, Monica, you were there. You tell him what you saw. Yes, I, I was. Your Honor, we are not ready to stipulate as to the circumstances under which the child and mother became separated. Well, then I'll stipulate. She left him in a box, pal in a pile of garbage on the street. And I found him. Don. Look, I mean, I, I know that this isn't on paper yet, but I'm, I'm the one who taught him his ABCs, okay? I'm, I'm the one who put the Band-Aids on. I'm the one who gets up in the middle of the night when he's all scared. <laughs> Me, I, I, I know what his favorite toy is. I, I know what his favorite game is. That lady abandoned him. You don't understand. Anna, don't. No, I want to talk. Please. I was bringing him to the orphanage, but when I got here, the orphanage had burned down. I, I didn't know what else to do. I was in trouble, and I was confused, and I left him where I knew he would be found. She left him in the street to die. No, I left him in the street to live. I couldn't take care of him then. But I knew somebody would, and I am so grateful it was you. You seem like a good man. 
this is my child. And I always knew I would see him again. So I had a plan. I, I, I got my life together. I got a job. I have a future, and I want him to be a part of that future, too. I at least deserve a chance to be his mother now. No, you gave up that chance when you jeopardized his life. Your Honor, if I could respond, the fact is the child's life was jeopardized only yesterday in the care of Mr. Greeley. We have photographs. Photographs? Uh, we've had a detective watching over the boy since we learned his whereabouts. That's enough. No one is on trial here. The child will remain in the custody of Mr. Greeley until I can make a determination as to the parental and custodial rights. We're adjourned. Hannah, please wait. Wait a minute. You guys know each other? Yes, she volunteers at the nursing home where Tess is staying. Well, am I supposed to believe that this is some sort of coincidence? Kevin, I'm starting to believe that this is all part of a plan. Kevin, we need you. What are you doing here, Monica? I'm a friend of Kevin's. Oh. Well, I guess I don't need to ask whose side you're on. I'm not on any side, Hannah. I want what's best for Nathan. Danny. What? I named him Danny. I'm sorry. I have to go. What am I going to tell him? He thinks... He thinks his mother is dead. I never told him that, but how do you tell a child that his mother just left him in the middle of a street? I hate her for what she did. Maybe you are here to help me. I mean, you can get her to change your mind. Kevin, you may not want to hear this, but she is not a terrible person. She's kind and loving and... You know, you're right. I, I don't want to hear that. I just love him so much. He's all I have. You know, yesterday when I saw him running out to the street, and I knew that I couldn't stop him, I thought I had lost him. And now this, it's just, it's just not fair. Life is not fair sometimes. But God always is. You heard that before. Do you remember? Excuse me. Kevin, God sent me. Why you get lost, buddy? Well, I was. That's why I got here so late. What I want to tell you. What do you want? Uh, well, see, I, I heard that you're angry with God. That's why I'm here. Who are you? Uh, my name is Phil. I'm an angel. Really? Yes. Well, Fred, why don't you do me a no, favor? No, Kevin, my Why don't you head Phil. back to heaven, yeah. wherever it is you come from, and tell your boss that I don't care what he's got to say, because he's not fair. Yeah, okay. Well, now, just let me help you out right there. See, God is fair. Oh, really? Yes. Then where's my money? Life, however, often is not. Now, God does not promise life without bad times. But God does promise that if you want to work your way through it, you can. That is the most pathetic compound I've ever heard. Pathetic! Pathetic! Listen to me, I understand it's pathetic. But look at the good things in life. What good look at things? the good things. Look around, you got a sunset, you got babies, you, you got a three-day weekend. Oh, the three-day weekend, huh? It's a big one. Big. See now the bad things that you see. That's someone else's work. We don't talk about him because he's not worth talking about. None of this is worth talking about. None of it. Kevin, uh, I'm an angel, and I don't believe you are. I know things you don't, and I've seen pain. Like mine? Yeah. Uh, but I'm talking about real pain. I'm not talking about the pain my father didn't give me any money when he died in his will. I'm talking about disease. 
that is so devastating that not only does it devastate the person with it, but the entire family. I'm talking about a mother seeing her child, her life just snatched away from her. That pain. These people hurt and they blame God. It's God has all this power. So God must have okayed it, right? Right. Wrong. It doesn't work that way. God doesn't cause pain. God heals. God doesn't hate. God loves. God doesn't want to see bad things happen. But they just, they happen. I'm telling you now, wouldn't blame God for the things that I didn't. I would thank God for the things that I have. And Kevin, if I were you, I wouldn't get upset because my father didn't leave me any money. I'd get upset because my father died. I thought I did what I wanted. God wanted me and Nathan to be together. Now he wants to take him away. Nathan was not God's gift to you. You were the gift to a little boy who needed a father, and you've been a wonderful father for seven years. You say that's all I get? I, I, I'm just supposed to give him up and walk away? Now? I don't know yet. I'm not sure why all of this is happening. Why we're losing Tess, or why Hannah has decided to try and find her child after all these years. But I do know there are no coincidences with God that all of this is somehow connected. So please, Kevin, will you come with me to see Tess? Hannah will be there. Yes. Hey, Kevin. Blues Angel. It's like old home week, huh? How are you? Tess? Look who's here to see you. Hi, Tess. Do you remember me? She's an angel? Yes, she is. And she's my friend. Hello. Uh, I saw you come in. Hey, Nathan. You remember how we used to talk about your mother? Yeah. She's in heaven. Well, not exactly. Yeah, I just found out yesterday that she's been living here all along. Where? Right here. In this town. You want to meet her? She's right over there. Are you really my mom? Yes. I knew I'd see you someday. Oh, so did I. here in this town thinking about you why did it take so long to find me well it took me some time to get ready to be your mommy but I'm ready now hey Kevin Andrew <laughs> Angels, you got around this place. As many as you need. This is Gloria, by the way. Hi. Hi, Kevin. It's nice to meet you. I'm really glad.